Hello everyone, sorry that's always loud, uh, and welcome to episode 47. Um, we're kind of plowing on a lot with more with these episodes. Um, we've got some exciting stuff coming up. I'll be doing a review on Baron Fig, um, their notebook company. I'm going to be doing a lot more uh, kind of like real life um, videos versus me doing a screen share or me in my room talking. Uh, so that should be really interesting. Um, got an interview tonight with the founder of Todoist to talk to him about uh, what they're working on and exciting stuff like that. So it looks like a good couple of weeks. And if you haven't, uh, I'm just going to dig this, uh, put this out there at the start. Um, do subscribe to the channel. But in today's episode 47, we'll be focusing on something that I, I use uh, throughout my day to almost schedule stuff. Um, and I don't use this account, I use another account. But what I'm doing with it is I'm really testing its features and making sure that uh, I understand what its functionality is. So when I'm talking to people, I can prescribe the specific, uh, the right ingredient um, for, for you to go away and use this kind of thing. So as what you're seeing right here, right now, is an app called Swipes, uh, it's Swipes app. And what it is, it's just basically a to-do list um, that has a little more, little more intelligence around um, context and time. Um, and I believe that uh, this is a kind of application that we'll be seeing in the future uh, that will be making the kind of head waves. Um, and I want to just today, I just want to run through, give my opinions on things, um, but also just break down the core features of using this application and why it could be beneficial for kind of a, a you out there to, 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 to be using this. Because there's some people out there still, and then, you know, you might have just discovered my channel. You might have just discovered productivity in general and kind of just the, on the roundabout, just anywhere, you know, you could have just discovered it. And they're looking for a to-do list that meets their requirements. So this might be yours. Um, and I want to go through everything today and make sure that, you know, this might be your to-do list. So let's get stuck in. So what we've got here, when you kind of enter the, uh, you have to go to to get the web version, web.swipesapp.com. Um, and once you arrive here, you get a introductory page, which is all your current tasks um, that you haven't either scheduled or completed um, that are kind of in your home stream. So as you can see, I've put a couple demo ones up here. Um, and what this basically indicates is all the tasks that you haven't completed yet. Um, and all the tasks that are current. So what you can either do with these um, straight up is you can go inside them, or without going inside them, you can either uh, click do on them, that's just marking the to-do list as complete, or you can schedule them for later. So for example, what I'm gonna be doing just now is I'm just gonna click done on this one, and that goes over to done. The completion bar, it's almost like a progress bar of your productivity goes up, the other feature, so I've just clicked done, it goes up into this section done, and I'll show you that in a sec. The other feature schedules it, and this gives me an option to go into detail. You know, is it going to be later this evening? Is it going to be next week? Can I uh, pick a specific date? So I'm just going to click this evening. And again, this goes away. It doesn't add anything to my pro progression bar at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the tick list. And as you can see, these are some tasks that I've already completed. Uh, and that's pretty powerful. I can see all the stuff I completed, what day it was on, uh, and also I can I can potentially bring it back into play if I wanted to. Um, so you can move it back into your to-do list or you can schedule it for later. So, you know, they're not completely gone. They're just almost a, a like a journal or a log of what you've done in the past. So going back to the center bit, um, as I just mentioned, uh, you can go into scheduled as well. So as you can see here, uh, these are uh, some scheduled ones. Um, and what I want to do uh, just before I go into more details, I just want to shout out a couple of guys that have been really interactive uh, on the social media with Twitter uh, in the last few days. So uh, Christian Chan, Emily Morrison, uh, Greater Still, uh, they're, a, they're a company, a brand. Uh, Jason Frasca, happy birthday, um, and you're doing fantastic stuff with Evernote. Um, Tayo Ma has been really interactive, uh, Anki as well. And just, I don't know why I didn't tag that, Dimitri Jacobs uh, has been fantastic. So they're just a couple of guys I wanted to shout out. Um, and it's just an example of going into a task here. Um, so let me just give you some more clarity on what it's like to go inside a task. 
So let's use this one, for example. Let's go back into detail on this one. So as you can see here, you've got your task. So this up here is the task name, and you can edit this. I mean, you can change it to whatever you want. Um, but that's the, uh, the main task completed. So it could be, you know, um, complete book. And then you've what you've got down here is you've got all these subtasks. So as I tick these off, uh, these are all um, action points as I go along. And I can tick all these off, and then essentially the task is complete. But as I go down here, you get to add a lot more context to the task. You can change the exact timing you want the event to, you want the task to show up, so it could be this evening. Um, so it'll pop up later this evening. As you see, that's just gone orange, which means that it's scheduled for later. You can repeat the task. It could be, you know, every Monday, fr Monday to Friday, so that weekday. You can do it every week at this time, month, year, whatever you want. You can also add tags, which is almost like with Todoist labels, uh, you just basically have the ability to add I mean, like 20 minutes is going to take me uh, and you can select and unselect them and I can show you the benefit and use of them later on. And then if you wanted to, you can add notes to this and that's pretty decent um, too. So that's really cool. Um, just going back to the original, um, so this is the middle bit. As you can see, they're all gone now. Um, I've got no tasks uh, at the moment. So I'm all done for now. They've all been scheduled for later. Um, but as you can see, the progress bar is still in the same place. And that's because they're all kind of hidden away. And I really like that. Um, I think it's really beneficial that someone can look at their to-do list and not know that they've got anything to do currently. And that's important. Like, obviously, at 6 p.m., they're going to have something to do. But having that task is clear and not having the stress of looking at something. Uh, and that's probably one of my problems at the moment, having a task list that's full um, and kind of knowing I've got to plow through it. But with this, it's relevant. And you can, you can literally pinpoint the exact minute you want the task to pop up in. So that's really, really cool. And that's something that Todoist, uh, not Todoist, sorry, I've just done a Todoist. It swipes actually does really, really well. Um, one thing that I'd really improve on this section is I would actually put the orange bar. I think it's on the app as well. This is very similar to the app experience. I put the orange bar in like a blue. And I tell you why, because at the moment I correlate this color to the scheduled, although the schedule is much darker red or darker orange, I kind of feel the orange doesn't make it, it feels like it's all scheduled. So I would put this in blue to clarify and maybe have this whole section in blue. Um, I don't know, they've probably done a lot more research than me on what colors work, <laughs> so it might not work, but something that, you know, if any of the team are watching, and I'll give a shout out to the team, they've been doing such a good job recently. Um, but yeah, they. I mean, this is a really nice application. But just to go over on adding a task, you go over to this left-hand side and you have the ability straight away to kind of just throw in a task. It'd be like buy uh, new shoes. Ooh, I'm awful at spelling. For, um, for Sam. I don't know who Sam is. But anyway, it could go straight into this. And I like that. That's, that's pretty fast typing. Um, and, I'm, and I'm sure they've got some keyboard shortcuts and really can benefit it. Um, again, they've got, you know, the benefit of the task, uh, real time search. Um, so I can search any task I want. Uh, so I just type shoes and it's just come up, which is great. Uh, and I can clear that one. Then going over to this, again, you can find all the tasks that are relevant to 10 minutes. Uh, and you can add tasks onto each other, tags onto each other. So they're almost work as filters automatically. So if I was like, okay, I've got 20 minutes, I'm at work, what task can I do? Um, so it kind of eliminates the idea of filters. It's like workspaces. Uh, so it's both labels and filters all in one, if we're going to call it like that, if we're going to compare it to other uh, apps. So it's that's pretty cool. I like that. That's really beneficial. Um, I can just, you know, I can be like, okay, I've got 20 minutes. I'm at home. Um, what can I do? And then just get up all of those tabs and see which one. Apparently, I can't do anything. Now I've got 10 minutes at home, uh, which sucks. Uh, but that's pretty cool. I really like that. Um, so just going back inside the task, let's just go into uh, buy shoes for Sam. Um, I really like that you can up here uh, actually share it directly to an email. I like that. That's really beneficial. Um, so that's really useful uh, that you can just straight away send it to someone and then they can kind of get, you know, you could pile out a huge load of action lists and then send it to someone and, and that's useful. Up here, you've also got the ability to delete uh, and then click done or snooze for later. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I really like that. I mean, 
as we're going through this, I'm seeing that the web version, I've, I've been able to use the web version a little bit um, in the last couple of weeks, and I found it very beneficial. Just a shout out to the guys at Todoist. Uh, oh, sorry, I've literally just finished uh, another review. The guys at Swipes. Uh, the guys at Swipes are awesome. Um, uh, just a shout out to Mikko Yavanov. Um, I, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Mikko. Um, Kasper and Yana as well. Uh, they've been doing some great stuff, especially on social as well. Um, and I'm really excited for what they can do in the next couple of weeks. Um, I don't know whether you know that they have been working really, really hard recently on uh, Evernote um, and their Evernote integration. And as you can see, it's not fully embedded in the web. And I understand why they've done that because not many people are using web at the moment. They probably have a really, really small, they probably have a like, tiny, like 2% of people who use web. Um, and they might be able to confirm that for me. Um, but, you know, web isn't the focus at the moment and they haven't really embedded the, uh, to do this, uh, sorry, the uh, Evernote. Um, I really need to stop doing back-to-back -back productivity videos because I'm always like in another zone. Um, anyway, going back to this, you have the ability to import Evernotes on the iPhone app, which allows you to bring in the actions from those. So for example, I've just imported this. I imported this the other day. Uh, and it's basically my media strategy and schedule. So these are all the tar all the reviews you've been sending me, guys, um, to actually look at. And um, yeah, it's already imported these, and I kind of kind of tick them off. So you know, I've done the to do list emoji app. Um, I you know I need to meet you know bump into Steve Robbins. Um, and you know, I've done the use productivity for fitness. So as you can go along, you can take them off and importing it for Evernote has real benefit because I mean, for me, I probably wouldn't use it that much, but for other people, it has huge value uh, overall. So everyone, that was um, the Evernote. Um, see, look, this is awful. Uh, <laughs> you mentioned one thing and I jump into another. Um, so thank you very much guys for watching the Swipes web. Uh, version. If you want to check out Swipes, just go to swipesapp.com. Um, I have no kind of uh, advertising affiliation with them. I literally, I just want to review how they're doing. I want to review their applications and how they're working and really give you some value because I think if you go away and you can use this, I think this is a very simplistic application that has huge benefit for people that are designers, people that uh, move around in their day. And people that want to schedule things for exact times and specific times, I really like that idea. So that's the benefit for you guys. Um, that's the value there. Um, but yeah, thanks to everyone at Swipes. They're fantastic. They've been doing such a good job recently. I think the whole productivity uh, market has been doing such a good job recently. Uh, and they've been very welcoming and supportive. So check out Swipes. It might be for you if you haven't got one. If you've already got one and you want to just try out something new, definitely work out. Uh, what swipes can do better than your current one. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. And everyone, make sure to have a great week and keep productive. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much.